Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn for the month of January 2021. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon sign or your rising sign. Um, your messages could be there. And if not, simply check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Um, <clears throat> okay, so what we have at the bottom of the deck is the rabbit, the volcano, and the boar. Something exploded. It's something that was building up over time that um, that uh, could no longer contain itself, and so it comes out like the like the volcano would suggest. Um, it could be that um, you feel uh, threatened in some way or your situation feels threatened in some way or the desire or the goal feels threatened. You, um, whatever this is, the, there's a very vulnerable or a very sore spot here connected to that uh whatever came out. Um, you may be um, hoping that someone would reach out to you, possibly, um, or you are desiring uh, or feel a need to reach out to them. You can be feeling very anxious over whatever this tower situation was or the volcano situation was. You may be trying to keep very busy or you could be, um, this can be being busy uh, online social groups. You could be working with um, friends friends or advice from friends or advice from friends, family um, that um, will hopefully change your luck uh, so that you could rebuild that tower. It's in reverse right now, but something uh, at one time it was in the upright. I feel the tower was that volcano, something external that um, came in caused by somebody in the tower um, who brought about this huge change, the walls to come down and understand they can only come down if indeed that uh, the foundation was not stable to begin with. So there were issues, there were problems here in order for those walls to come down. Something got spilt uh, within the family and it is that which you are trying to um, restore to bring the harmony back to. Um, this looks like spilt milk um, having to do with someone. Most likely uh, I see there's a knife on the table also as if you can see everything on that picture. It all tells a story you know and um, you see a person floating uh, in that milk. Um, it feels like something came out about someone and that caused the tower and somebody may have uh, cut someone out or there is, or the, I mean, the knife can go two ways. It can be um, cutting someone out or looking for a solution. I feel like because of the sun that you're looking for clarity and a solution to restore the tower and you are leaning on your support network of friends and family uh, for advice perhaps on how to do this. You're still very, very much attached to uh, this, uh, this other person. You did not want this to end. No. And 
um, it comes with the ghost. So you're haunted by the past, um, by what that which caused the tower, which caused a series of events to happen. You feel it's not over, and you felt that way right from, right from the cut off point. Yeah, looking back, holding on, it's ended, but you don't believe it's ended. Not, it's not really over. So it's like you're watching, waiting, the rabbit waits, and so does the dormouse wait. So the snail is about um, um, something that's taking its time. It's like really slow, slow moving. Um, it can also mean that you need to be patient with, amidst all of this chaos and change that is happening here in the Seven of Wands, you see. This is feeling like, you know, everything is against you, um, but you, you're not giving up. You're fighting for something you believe in. Yeah. So here we have um, the vision card, and that's like a developing a vision, perhaps of uh, the future that you wish to have um, in, you know, maybe rebuilding that tower. Um, it can be coming up with creative ideas on solutions for change and how you could change it. It's It represents something that you really uh, want to change because you need to, you know. Um, it can be there because something is really annoying you, frustrating you, and you're unhappy with your situation presently the way it is, or with life in general since that tower hit. And it's like it comes with the Two of Swords, so that's needing to make a decision. Okay, but it can be the head and the heart in opposition here, feeling conflicted. Um, you could be, you could be lacking information or facts. Um, this is what you're telling yourself, um, or uh, you can be in, um, and this could be because actually that you're in denial. So it, it represents a decision that needs to be made, but it also gives advice on how to make it. And um, that advice is lies within the suit, which is swords. And swords are about logic and reason. And although she is trying to listen to her intuition, okay, which is why she's covered her eyes, the swords suggest that she already has all the facts. And she's worried. The noose is here. The noose is um, behaviors, thought patterns that hold one back, um, prevents you from advancing, moving forward. Um, this can be fears because we do have the uh, four of coins holding you back here too. Feeling stuck. This could be lacking confidence, low self-worth, self-value. You've been wounded because of the nine of wands here. Um, you're facing a challenge, but you, you don't want to give up. You're, you're worn out, you're beaten down by whatever this is you're facing, but you're not ready to, to quit. You're not ready to give it up. 
deep down you don't really want to walk away. You know that you should. Logic says you should walk away. But, um, but you know, your heart says you don't want to. And now... We have the spider here. And um, the spider uh, is telling you that you need to be mindful of the choices you are making or are about to make. Okay? The phoenix. You're clinging to something most likely that is dead. And this card's appearance would be telling you that it would be time to let it go. The raven. The raven is, um, it's like that sense of foreboding. It is actually thought to be the most prophetic of all birds. It's very intelligent. And it is symbolic of mind, thought, and wisdom. They're often seen as messengers between heaven and earth and are believed to carry messages back and forth from a higher plane. The message on this card is open up your mind to the world on the other side of the veil and listen. You're being sent a message. And I feel like you have actually heard it, but you don't necessarily really want to do it, right? So, and then we go down here, we have the oracle. Pay attention to the signs. Signs are messengers from the divine. So they, you've been sent messages and you have been sent signs and symbols. getting clear on a healing it's it's what you want okay um but now it's interesting because um you have serendipity and the satire what is going to feel like an unexpected favorable turn of events you need to not disregard that other little feeling you're going to get that would tell you that maybe this is an illusion. These two cards say it all. So it will look like it's a lucky break. It's what the devil does, you see. The full moon at the bottom of the deck suggests that there is deception here. And it could be that your emotions are going to be magnified um, during the time that this is happening. It could also be that this may happen around a full moon. Um, something that was invisible may now come to the surface. Or something is clearly hidden from you. I think that, I think that this would be more them trying to hide it from you, but Goodness gracious, I feel like inside, I feel like you're getting all kinds of signs. Ultimately, you have free will. Because you, you already have all the facts. You already know what the right thing to do is. It's what this card is saying. Now, above here, we have Mabon. 
and it is a card of balance. So something, if this is like reflecting upon the past, there's been an upset or an unhappiness that has caused an imbalance in your life. And this card advises you to eliminate whatever this was, a person or, or whatever this was who upset your equilibrium. Hold on only to the lessons from past hurts and not the pain or the heartbreak. Now, High Priestess, Responsibility, Cause and Effect, The Consequences of Our Actions. Whatever decision you make, you must be ready to accept the consequences for it, good or bad, is what this card is saying. They're warning you, okay, to be careful of your thoughts. your words and your actions and be careful what you wish for. I thank you for watching, for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.